Hi guys, welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 update for the main release, which is the build 22631.3374 or version 23H2 or build code KB5035942. This is the C release or the feature update that is released monthly for the main release. And this one has quite a few interesting improvements and also changes inside the operating system. And in this video, as always, we're going to try to cover everything that there is new in this build. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. This video is sponsored by Private Internet Access. A virtual private network or VPN for shorts hides your IP address and safeguards your internet connection through an encrypted tunnel. Streaming services such as Netflix have different library options based on where you are located. Using Private Internet Access, you will be able to watch those shows or movies that are not available in your current location. Make sure to check out Private Internet Access in the links from the description below for a great deal. 83% discount and 4 months free. Of course, if you want to learn more info about the main release, why there are two different updates releasing each month, you can check out the article below in the video's description. Also, one thing that you need to note, and I remind you again, Windows 11 version 22H2 will continue to receive non-security preview updates until June 26, 2024, and I think that is pretty good. So let's begin with the new changes and improvements. First of all, in Copilot, if you are not signed into a Microsoft account and you are using a local account, you can ask Copilot and Windows in preview for help 10 times before you have to sign into a Microsoft account. I think that is pretty interesting. Also, Microsoft is introducing more content to the lock screen, sports, traffic, finance content, and more. And this can be personalized in settings, personalization, and then lock screen. Related to settings, this update addresses an issue that affects the settings app. It stops responding when you use it to remove Bluetooth devices. Also, this update addresses an issue that affects USB audio. It fails on some processors. This occurs after you pause, play, or resume from sleep. Related to the never combined taskbar icons setting in taskbar settings and then taskbar behaviors. An issue was addressed. Basically, the app labels in the taskbar sometimes do not have the correct length, which cuts off the label text. This occurs when this setting is set to when taskbar is full or never. There are also a few improvements to voice access. You can now use voice access in French from France and Canada, German, Spanish, and more. You can also use all voices on multiple displays. And you also have the new feature, which allows you to create shortcuts or custom commands. I think that is pretty interesting. Related to narrator, you can now listen to a pre preview of the 10 natural voices before you download them. This update improves narrator's detection of text and images. Also in Microsoft Word, narrator will announce the presence of bookmarks and draft or resolved comments, and you can now use voice access to open applications, dictate text, interact with elements on the screen. Related to Windows Share, this update changes the apps that appear in the Windows Share window. Basically, it will let you select certain apps depending on if you are connected with a Microsoft account or a Microsoft Intra ID account, and also it will now support sharing with WhatsApp if you have it installed. Also related to nearby sharing, of course, you can now rename your PC for a more friendly name and the transfer speeds should be better. We also have some casting updates. Basically, it will allow you to see devices that are now available and allow you to have access to some new settings that are available inside screen casting. Of course, we also have the updates to snap layouts, which will allow you to quickly snap windows together. If you have multiple apps opened, it will suggest you snap with those apps. And we also have new changes related to Windows 365 boot and Windows 365 switch. Basically, all the Moment 5 update features should be most likely enabled for everyone. I think these improvements are quite good in the main release and hopefully Windows 11, the Moment 5 update will work pretty good for you. Of course, we also have the Windows 11 services stack, which is the build 22631.3364. And this basically ensures that you have a robust and reliable service and stack so that your devices can receive and install Microsoft updates. So this is basically all there is to it in this build. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.